How do you maintain a sewage treatment plant? Wow, okay. Um, lots to <coughs> um, consider here. Um, I suppose the... Break the, into bite-sized chunks. Bite-sized chunks. We'll go into two bite-sized chunks, go which on. will be... Won't bite, they're not going to be bite-sized. Oh, great. <laughs> um, first things first. Um, it's important that um, this, the tank is, of course, emptied on a regular basis. So... Um, whether it be a septic tank or a treatment plant, gaining an understanding of what the sludge, um, the sludge, the sludging interval is. That was a bit of a mouthful. Um, so depending on the manufacturer, um, you may have a six month window that you need to get the tank emptied. Mm -hmm. um, it could be that you have 20, 12 months. It could be 24 months. So whatever system you have, speak to the manufacturer. Get an idea of what the desudging level is. That is probably number one. And of course, get a desudging vehicle to come in on that interval to get the system desudged so the continued operation of the biological process can happen well. That's, that's point one. The second thing, of course, is what we uh, talk about quite a lot when we um, do our accredited service provider training, which is the main point of it, I suppose. And that's to actually get. Um, an engineer on board with um, coming down and servicing the system, getting an understanding of not only the biological process, how well the treatment plant is performing in terms of the effluent quality of discharge, but also check, of course, on the working components. Um, so it's a good, it's kind of why we have the training here, yep. is that we bring, we invite people along. We generally have a dedicated day where we have four people here. We give them an understanding of not only how our systems work, but of course, what they need to understand um, in the biological process. I think it's people basically expect septic tanks to work miracles. Um, sorry, treatment plants to work miracles. All they're there to do is basically um, is to promote the biological process within the tank. When we think about any sort of living thing, they need three things to survive, food, oxygen, um, and of course, uh, water. Now, within the foul water treatment plant alone, we've got the water and the food coming in from the black water. And of course, all we're doing to promote the, the growth of the activity of the, the living microorganisms is, introducing oxygen. is of course introducing the oxygen. Um, so it's really important that we give the, the service engineers that understanding that the treatment plant is there to increase the oxygen level and it needs to do that well for the biological treatment plant to work. Um, so yeah, firstly, analyzing the system performance, checking things where things need to be but also gaining an understanding of is the treatment plant actually achieving what we want it to do yes um is really important so i think those are the two things that generally need to be covered first on the research in the tank mm -hmm. as per the manufacturer's regulations and something for them to consider on a domestic level get an engineer in who knows about the system is willing to do the checks on the electronic equipment and the effluent quality and i think yeah, that's um, pretty much it. And hopefully it's, it's nice for the, the homeowner to gain an understanding of how the treatment plant works. Yep. It's so often that we have um, people ask the same questions. And really, if we the customer takes the initiative, we talked right at the beginning of today about uh, what do you, do you need to consider when you install a wastewater uh, treatment system. Um, understanding how the treatment process works, whether it be one of our systems with a compressor um, diffusers and airlift discharge, or whether it's going to be a media-based system, whether it's going to be a rotational disc, is it going to be electronic pump system? All these sorts of things, having an understanding of how the oxygen level in the tank is being increased. Once you've got that there, of course, you can then understand um, really how the system can be maintained successfully. On a domestic level, the homeowner could potentially look after the majority of this themselves. On a commercial um, application, it's more likely to be adopted by a council and they will look after it for you but even so it's important for them to really understand the biological process that the treatment plants is performing it whether it's um a suspended aeration filter whether it's sbr whatever it might be having an understanding of how the treatment plant works is so important so we can ensure we're protecting the environment at the end of the day that's what we're here to do with biological uh, wastewater treatment systems we're here to promote the growth of bacteria so we get a very good quality of water being discharged on systems to protect the environment so that's the whole point. <laughs> People need to understand that. And yeah, wastewater treatment plants, as simple as they are in terms of just introducing yep. more oxygen, that's all they're there to do. And that really helps get the really good quality of effluent we need um, to discharge and protect our environment.
Perfect. I'm very heated on that. You're very passionate on that. I, I, every single time I do a CPD, I'm like, it just kind of drills home the important message that's uh, perfect that we uh, want to promote here in the industry.